Hi, we will talk here of a very special group of agate. <coughs> they are called fire agate. <coughs> fire agate is not a real agate, as usual. The term is used not for banded agate, but, but for another kind of chalcedony. So fire agate is a kind of chalcedony with fire inside. And uh, the fire is present on a botroidal surface that uh, is covering uh, the, uh, uh, a sheet of the botroidal chalcedony and uh, they contain a layer of iridescent goethite. The iridescence is so beautiful because it is metallic and uh, the iris effect uh, show uh, a very wide range of color but usually they are not all together in the same sample so it's more easy to find sample with green blue hue of uh, iridescence and other with some red and yellow and uh, the this kind of iridescence is by thin film interference so we have a um, transparent material with a very thin film that reflect uh, above an opaque material so this is the goethite and this is a quite uh, thin film probably a composite of uh, hydratic uh, iron so the the iron that is usually in solution in water is ferrous iron mm, that is um, that they valence two, that is just one oxygen in this molecule. And when this uh, molecule is in contact with water in the surface of free water table, uh, this here the iron oxidized in ferric iron that is uh, more abundant in oxygen. And usually this ferric iron is hydrate. So there is some mm, hydrate mm, iron mineral that are transparent and can make a very thin sheet that uh, make interferences of the light of the light this is the same phenomenon depending on the very thin sheet that happen to gasoline or to oil that are uh, spilled over a pond of water and in this uh, case is the very strong um, the very strong uh, surface tension of the oil make it uh, transform in a very thin and very wide uh, film so this is the reason of the gasoline to make interference of the light so um, back here uh, the, the light arrived to the fire agate or to the thin film uh, in white color because it's from the sun the light is white we have inside all the color of the of the iris but um, is uh, ref reflection is in two different uh, ray that are parallel but uh, with a difference in, in 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 the position of the wave so is uh, uh, this uh, uh, arrived a little bit late than this one so they make interference so these two ray are are made from this uh, transparent film so in 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 mineral world there is two mineral that make iridations in the same way that are gettite and hematite both are um, ferric iron uh, fe two o three so this is uh, iridescent goethite from Spain and you can see that is uh, botroidal hematite uh, gettite with a very thin coating of iridescent material and this specimen is more blue and green and this is more yellow my like rust and this is another specimen of goethite from Italy from Elba Island and you see that this is quite quite similar to uh, fire agate so this is uh, the second mineral that is uh, hematite that is quite the same of goethite but without, without water inside so 
also in ferric iron and this is the famous rainbow hematite from Brazil that is uh, in a very big mine of iron this iridescent material very nice for producing a strange uh, druzy gemstone um, so in both cases is a, a kind of thin film of hydrated uh, iron oxide that is uh, responsible for the interference so um, back to the fire agate this is how appear a fire agate in the rough is a very ugly uh, concretion of chalcedony and you see that mm, the bed of botroidal um, getite is inside the uh, different sheet of chalcedony and this is a uh, typical um, last mm, sheet of quartz crystal that uh, stop the growing of chalcedony that is uh, quite common now as we see in other kind of concretion so this is uh, a, a nodule half polished as for specimen for collection and this was the filling of uh, of a geode of a thunder egg uh, um, that was dissolved so is quite similar uh, uh, geologic situation uh, as all the uh, chalcedony concretion and this is quite uh, common that the uh, portion that uh, is uh, uh, iridescent is on the top of a uh, pendant of a pinnacle of uh, chalcedony and this is uh, the cut stones and uh, uh, usually the, the cut must valorize the radiation so have to cut around the shape of the botroidal uh, surface so it is a must to, to make a free form with a free shape and a free upper surface so it's a kind of undulated gemstone and more similar to a boulder opal uh, also the uh, very high quality is comparable with opals because of its iridescence um, is a kind of effect stones but is more stable than opals so mm, is possible to use in jewelry in in ring and uh, this kind of stone are forever and this is high level uh, cabochon with um, very strong uh, mix of color and this these are quite small uh, stones but you see the color are really crazy another stone with eyes another beautiful stones and also in some deposit is not uncommon to find um, sagenite that are a small spray of maybe aragonite crystals that are uh, finally covered by a gritite and after by calcedon this is uh, another fire agate and you see the the big surface is quite similar to gritite specimen this is a typical cut of ice okay the deposit most of the deposit are found in mm. Arizona and in Mexico northern Mexico this is one of, my, of the most uh, all-time famous deposit is in the Willy well area South California near the Arizona border discovered after the World War two and is uh, still producing high quality fire agate in a, in a claim that uh, give the possibility to dig under the payment of a fee and in this deposit uh, you can see the the calcedony concretion are found inside uh, thunder egg and uh, often the thunder egg are completely dissolved so you can find a geode with a flower of calcedony or more complete filling of the cavity or also the concretion can feel uh, fractured so mm, the the off rock is probably a, a volcanic tuff of a rhyolitic origin and is the same mm, kind of rock that can generate thunder 
this is another famous deposit from near of, near of Kingman, northwest Arizona, near Nevada border, and <coughs> this um, apparently uh, this mine is open since uh, 1928, and there is almost five claim inside. This is the typical Sonora Desert uh, landscape uh, where most of the deposits are found. And uh, um, the um, calcedony here is quite transparent, so it's uh, more easy to to make uh, bril brilliant stones. But you see, mm, the appearance of, of rough is quite similar to the other deposit, and we have always a concrection of calcedony filling fracture with um, the sheet uh, of gritite inside. Uh, another deposit uh, is very near to Phoenix, Saddle Mountain, is a popular accounting place and is almost exhausted today because uh, it's, a, it's a place for look for agates uh, on Sunday, so it's quite difficult not to find Opal, but there is some private claim today also. And Deer Creek is probably the more famous deposit of fire agate and for sure the more famous in Arizona. Um, this is one uh, rough uh, that you see, a uh, calcedon concretion with the filling of a cavity. And now uh, most of the, of the claim are, have been uh, bought for, from a big company that work with um, heavy equipment. But, uh, sorry, the, the production of this um, deposit is uh, to also today quite abundant and the quality is amazing. So this is few pieces of this deposit and the, the, that produce very high quality agate. And uh, also uh, saginite are typical of this area. And uh, this is a quite rare f mm, kind of uh, fire agate that is uh, a kind of lizard skin and is more similar to an, to an opal than to an agate and uh, look like a uh, desiccation crack surface uh, of the gritite uh, get get um, sheet that was something very similar to what uh, was looking the um, iridation uh, of the uh, uh, oxidized uh, iron on the surface of the water that we see in the picture before. <coughs> Also more agate from this deposit. You see mm, some very big specimen with a very, very high quality agate. And mm, near to Deer Creek, uh, just 50 kilometers from, from the main deposit, there is another important deposit, Slaughter Mountain. Mm, this, uh, this deposit is found inside the an Apache Indian reservation, so only the native mm, member can dig here and uh, heavy machinery is not allowed. So um, uh, here fire agat, agat are found also in a very um, hard rock, so the production is very low, it's very limited production, but the quality of the agat is very high, very similar to the creek. You see um, the specimens are very similar and the quality is too very high. This is a typical rough nodule, you see that as usual there is a cap of white quartz at the end of, of the concretion, but also we can see two bed of gritite here. Other mm, nodule in rough, uh, the shape is not uh, so regular, so they fill a kind of cavity or a portion of a fracture. And this is uh, how uh, you begin the work, making a window, and then you decide if you keep as a specimen or if you will cut a, a gemstone here. Um, the most important uh, deposit uh, right now in the in the 2015, uh, but in the last 10, 20 years, 
is from Aguascalientes, Mexico. Here there is hundred of small claims, here the most important, and all the village uh, is working, uh, looking for agate, cutting agate, and uh, trading with agate. So the agate here was discovered in the 60s, but only at uh, the end of the 70s or in the 80s they start to be seriously producing fire agate. Uh, the typical cut made in Mexico is flat cut because it's more commercially because uh, it needs less time to be cut it than in the case of American agate they used to make uh, carving for um, cut all the excess of chalcedony and they have the best brilliance. So this is this kind of flat cut uh, uh, is obliged to make small stones and uh, the quality is more commercial. But uh, um, if you want to have uh, an high quality stones, uh, you want recut uh, Mexican stones, you can take a uh, performed window with rough that is uh, quite a typical way to sell the Mexican stones so they open a window and the, the American cut cutter decide if how to cut again so here there is the possibility to make very good stones or resell uh, uh, w with commercial price and this is the, the kind of the rough in some place is more black and in other is some is a little bit more transparent and you see here a slabbed uh, section with the bed of getite inside the bedding of chalcedony with some fibrous band here so it's a typical concretion so this is the locality of fire agate in Mindat and th that are the more important this uh, Aguascaliente many mine but in a very small area in uh, El Calvillo uh, then there is Chihuahua, San Luis de Potosí that is quite near to Acascaliente then all the Arizona place um, the Southern California that is near the Arizona border and a few locations in New Mexico also near the Arizona border so if, you if we put all this location in a map uh, we see that all the deposits of no agat uh, of United States are found in a very small area that is between the Sonora Desert and the Mojave Desert. And uh, if we see the uh, global situation of all the fire agat no in the world, uh, we see that there is a big group here in the United States, Chihuahua, that can be quite near to this group and then there is Aguas Caliente and San Luis de Potosí that are a little bit more far but we if we ch check the situation in the world we see that it is a very very strange distribution because for the for a mineral so common as, as chalcedony and uh, a so big amount of deposit as found in this area I could expect to find mm, deposit all over around. So this kind of uh, strange distribution um, led me to think and uh, I suggest that there is a uh, kind of reason. So uh, the, uh, the, the logic tree is uh, this one that fire agate, fire agate are found in an extremely narrow area in the world. So uh, all this concentration is because there is some reason or uh, there is no reason it is just because uh, um, the rough is ugly and the rough is difficult to understand for uh, people for another co uh, another continent and this possibility is quite uh, is possible but it's quite difficult because uh, American rock counter uh, uh, all over the world are founding and digging in many countries and I think today with the globalization would be quite difficult to keep a secret a place uh, in another continent 
uh, without uh, found a stone that is that can be so expensive like fire agate. So I opt for uh, the possibility that there is a reason. Um, the geology cannot explain the narrow distribution of the fire agate and also cannot explain the high number of deposits with such homogeneous character. So uh, the, the most strange stuff of fire agate is that all the deposits know uh, give the same rough and they have the same off-rock. There is no difference. It's, it's super difficult to determine if, um, if a stone comes from a deposit or from another one. Uh, we see in banded agate uh, deposits distant few kilometers are a totally different color and character. For example, in the Laguna area, uh, not so mm, uh, profound knowledge of, uh, of the deposit is, uh, is enough for understanding the difference from an, uh, an Agua Nueva mm, to a Moctezuma to a Coyamito that are 50 km distance each other. But in, in all the deposit north of Iragat is quite difficult to understand the difference. So, uh, if it's not of a geological origin, the difference must to be of organic origin. So I don't know why, and I don't know what can be the difference in the organic uh, input, but it is quite possible that it's a bacteria that have a, a range of distribution in this area can be responsible for this particular kind of agate. And uh, we see uh, that some kind of jasper have um, a bacterium um, uh, a bacterium that was responsible for some kind of structure as in uh, stratified mm, uh, stratified jasper uh, that have a dune structure and we hypothesize that this structure was um, from iron bacteria. So mm, we know also that uh, bacteria are um, often present uh, in the whole production of uh, nodule and concretion with um, iron inside. So it's not so strange to imagine that iron bacteria um, can be responsible in some way and some level to the formation of fire agate. And this, uh, for me, is the only possibility to explain why all the deposits in the world of fire agate are concentrated in a so narrow uh, area.